ओम श्री साई राम प्रशांति संदेश आई वुड लाइक टू शेयर विद यू टू ऑफ वेरी ह्यूमरस एक्सपीरियंसेस आई हैड विथ स्वामी टू टेल यू वेरी ऑनेस्टली स्वामी कुड बेयर विथ मी for 25 long years keeping me very close to him and he went to translate his discourses that apart whenever he is upset with boys particularly when they do not act in the way he wants he avoids them for some time that most of the people call it as treatment treatment but god could not be away from these boys whom he loves so much for long somehow that will uh, they will patch up and normalcy returns returns but what happens is when he is upset he goes into the interview room without talk without talking to boys and then he comes out of the room and then sits there on the dais that's all while giving darshan he'll be passing by that side first lady side and then gen side then old people people on wheelchairs then students waiting then varanda he makes a circle like that what have you know in cyclone there are pillars swami has to walk uh, along that line where pillars are located but to avoid boys he wants to he did, what he did was to hide himself to avoid the boys without falling on his feet he comes on the other side of the pillar rubbing his shoulder so closely indicating clearly that he is avoiding them i noticed it this was happening for a couple of days i am praying that when swami would give an opportunity to patch up it happened he made me an instrument then he called me for an interview i said uh, what you sanil kumar then i said swami there in mythology we read an anecdote where sri mahavishnu in the form of narasimhava narasimhavatara narasimhavatara came out of the pillar and blessed prahlad killed his father hiranyakashipu the story is hiranyakashipu is the demon his son is prahlad a great devotee of of par excellence life went on like that father tortured him to convert him he never wanted him to say narayana no he sent him to schooling instructing teachers to see that he will give up the name of narayana he didn't do that and teachers expressed their helplessness and when he returned home he said because he loved the son but still he wanted to give him number of chances he asked him what that you have learned there from your teachers he started repeating narayana narayana he was fed up he vipri him but he did not give up the name narayana not only that even serpents were, were, were allowed to bite him he did not give up his name and he was i mean he, he was allowed to be trampled by elephants he did not give ramas i mean narayana's name he was thrown from the mountain tops nothing happened 
such a devotee prahalada was the son of hiranyakashipu one day hiranyakashipu challenged him do you think that your narayana is there in this pillar prahalada said why not then hiranyakashipu using all his might looking at the pillar ferociously it was at that time god inside the pillar sri ma vishnu in the form of narasimha avatara narasimha avatara came out of the pillar out of the pillar and killed hiranyakashipu there and blessed the prahalada and then swami's interpretation was that pillar is nothing but your own body identification when once you give up this body identification sri mahavishnu with inside you will manifest in the form of narasimha avatar narasimha means the the what you call lion the king of the forest the best therefore god comes out when you give up this body identification that is the interpretation swami gave looking at him swami this is the interpretation you said this is the story of prahlada you narrated quite interesting and ringing in my ears even today but i have one doubt swami yes yes tell me what happened swami in response to the prayers of prahlada lord sri maha vishnu came out of the pillar in the form of narsimha avatar but today our devotion is not of that state of that stage you are annoyed and upset with us you are just giving darshan rubbing your shoulder close to that pillar only to avoid us so our dear lord who was who is outside the pillar now getting into the pillar swami prahalada made swami come out of the pillar we made our swami to get into the pillar swami that is our pitiable condition believe me or not swami laughed and laughed and laughed and liked the joke liked the joke and then he got up and then came out the interview room started talking with the boys as before that made me thrilled this experience i never forget in my life i will also share with you another experience there in kodaikanal all boys on the last day of our trip the boys were crying and uh, singing songs not in a joyful mood very sorrowful and melancholic swami didn't like that he told boy sir i i brought you here kept you here for one month long and gave you what all you wanted what all i wish to give bless you with a number of opportunities why do you cry the boy said we don't want to go swami will be here baba said i have to go back college school admissions will start i have take care of the administration prashantralayam we must go if you want you stay i'll go to kodaikanal i will go to puttaparthi swami said boy said no 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 swami it was at that time swami asked me to speak anil kumar the boys are upset to make them cheerful speak something then i got up and said swami i seek your apology beg me i i beg your pardon i beg your pardon swami my apologies to you if i take some liberty to joke at this moment on some said okay 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 carry on then i said swami you always say you are god you are god but i am not able to believe it then said swami said oh if you are not god you are a he buffalo 
Everybody laughed. And then Swami said, come on, speak. Then I started speaking. Swami says, I am God. Now my name is Satcha Sai Baba, right? I am God now. Swami was staring at me. All boys were very much excited to see what's going on there. And then I started speaking. As Satcha Sai Baba, as God, as God, I must get up at 3.30 or 4 o'clock in the morning which is impossible for me to get up at this stage. Then, as such a Sai Baba, I should have only some glass of water and then get down, be ready by 6 o'clock, talk to ashram heads, give them instructions and start giving darshan. Left to me, impossible. Take a glass of water and come down like that. I'll be completing at least two cups of coffee before I come to darshan. Then I continued. As such, Sai Baba, I should start giving darshan right from where ladies are seated there. As I go along the lines, I see many of the ladies sitting in the front row always, every day, not giving chances to the newcomers, not giving chances for freshers. They, they only sit in the front row. See that. So they are going to take the birth of the slabs or the stones on which they sit. And joked. And that's what I said. And then proceed further slowly. And then comes towards the elderly people, gents. They give letters. Letters, Swami. Joint pains. Swami, conjunctivitis. Swami, arthritis. Swami, pneumonitis. Swami, these are only things. Not even one letter thanking Swami for taking care of us this long. Thanking Swami for all the things that He has given and blessed us with. Nobody, no thanks letter, always requests, demands, Swami, let my son get a green card. Let my daughter get married soon. Son with a big dowry, dowry. And daughter should get married without a dowry. Swami, my pension is uh, uh, awaited. See that I get my pension. Swami, my promotion, these are only letters of demand. And then slowly, Swami will, get, uh, will look at the students. What do they write, Swami? You give me interview. And not to the other boy whom I don't like. Another fellow writes, Swami, you give me chain. Not to the other fellow, my enemy. Like this. Give me chains, give me rings, give me watches, and not to others. See that. Then Swami comes, walks along the veranda, where all heads, VIPs are seated there. What do they write letters, Swami? Remove that fellow. Kick him out of ashram. He is a regular fellow. He is indisciplined. All letters of complaint. Remove him. Kick him out. No letters. And then Swami calls some people, devotees, for an interview. He wants, as such, Sai Baba, I am supposed to speak divine matters. But devotees go on asking, I want this, I want this. What to do? I am helpless. Then somehow complete the interview, sit there in the bhajan hall, as such, Sai Baba. I want my student to sing some songs, bhajans. Reflecting unity of faith, unity of faith. They don't sing at all. I want them to sing fast songs. I want them to sing certain songs uh, where there will be all devotees would be able to join chorus where everybody would participate. They don't do that. Then I go for lunch to the dining hall at the end of the harati. Uh, along with me some 
a special guest, member of the Central Trust, also sit along with me for lunch. All items are served to everybody. Sweets and hots, a royal banquet. And I, as such a Sai Baba, should be satisfied with ragi malt only. No ice creams, no sweets, no hearts, just ragi, uh, the ragi malt made into some balls, just very little. Have some uh, butter, milk or, or some rasam, finish off. While all others that join me at the dining table, they will have ice creams, fruit salads, sweet hearts. I have to satisfy with that. I cannot do that. Impossible. I like ice creams. I like sweets. As such, say, Baba, I should not eat. What am I to do? As such, say, Baba, I should receive these complaint letters, these letters of request. Like, I'm fed up with this. This kind of a thing is repeated every day over years. Swami was laughing. All people laughed at the hilarious laughter. And then finally I said, Swami, I am not in a hurry to become God. Let me take my own time. Let me have ice creams, sweets, hearts, hot hot pickles. As a human being, let me be happy, Swami. I am not in a hurry to become God. You are God. Let me worship you. Let me speak in praise of you. And thus conclude my talk. Sai Ram, we'll meet later. <laughs>